Bye everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, chat managers, for your help. I appreciate it. Today is Saturday, so you will allowed to ask personal questions, pet questions, political questions. Uh, Alina Meling, W. Wright, Ropa, Stephen Johnson, Susan Rotella, Eric Trostam. I hope everyone is ready for tomorrow. I remember, oh my God, for Good Sun, no, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, and, and oh, when I was growing up, the food, that was the best time, you know, to eat, the, to eat the, that's when families cook the best food. Easter Sunday, that was a feast. Oh my God. Anyway, I, uh, you know, I was watching something on TV a little, I mean, hang on a second, I'll tell you guys what I was watching, I think it's still on, yep, the, the Saturday show with Jonathan Capehart, and they were talking about uh, African Americans, you know, how, how, uh, the percentage, 55% of Americans are going to go vote, and hopefully it's for Biden. 15% are basically uh, saying they won't vote or, and stuff like that. It's mostly younger people. And if I'm not, mis I'm going to say younger people because I'm not sure if it's the breakdown gen by gender. But you know, the thought occurred to me, I should say something about this. I know I hardly get young people to watch my show. This is something I'm working on. Lately, I've seen the needle moved a little bit because my, uh, my numbers increased, but I'm going to preach anyway. You know, uh, hi, Linda J. I feel African-American or any minority in this country should never not go out and make our voices heard, regardless of uh, whether the administration, if you know, uh, since, you know, like today, we are not voting for Biden or for Trump, okay, or Democrat. With this election cycle, we are voting for democracy. And I don't feel young minorities understand how terrible it can be. If they think it's terrible now, uh, if Trump was to have a second term, just like last time, he didn't, you know, Look at how, okay, let me use that as an example. I, I, I just saw it on, on TV a little while ago. It's not something that I thought about. I've thought about it before, talking about it, but I'm not going to make it long. Have you guys, I'm sure a lot of young people are on Twitter and on, t on, Twitter and on TikTok, and I'm sure the same thing that I'm seeing unfolding on Twitter are unfolding also on TikTok the way a lot of white Americans, not all, the MAGA crowd, even some uh, black Americans too, the, the, the uh, Thomas, the Justice Thomas uh, brothers that are on, 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 that are in MAGAs, they are using DEI, they, they want to say black people, they want to say, oh, if you're black, you cannot be a pilot, or you, you would be a bad pilot, or you would be a bad engineer. They are... If you watch those, pe those people's behavior on Twitter, what they are posting, I don't know about TikTok, but I'm sure they find ways on TikTok to blame anything that's negative on uh, minorities. And also there are a couple of uh, accounts on Twitter. All they post, they amplify anything uh, a black person happened to do or anything that can incite 
discord between black and white. So the point I'm trying to make is it wasn't always like this. Yes, racism was always underneath, underneath the surface. But it wasn't this bad, and I've never seen anybody attacking. For example, Dr. Gay, okay? I'm sorry, I don't remember her name, but the president, the lady that's president of the, the university in Pennsylvania, I forget the name of the lady because she just bailed out the minute they started going after her. I don't remember her name, forgive me, but she's a white woman, okay? The way they went after her, and then after that, they went after the, the woman president of MIT. If you are a woman, they come after you. If you are black, they said you're not qualified. Well, if you're a woman, if you're a white woman, they said you shouldn't be working at all. You're taking the jobs away. You should be barefoot and pregnant at home. That's their thinking. And if you are black, whether you're a woman or not, okay, it's impossible for you to be able to do anything. Little that, that those people know, they are so ignorant. The lights, the traffic lights every day that, we, uh, that is used was a black person invented that. Uh, I'm just giving a few examples if they happen, because some of them, they watch the videos every once in a while. The people who invented the machine, the, the sewing machine that attached the soles of your shoes to the rest of your shoes, that machine was designed, it was, it was invented by a black person. A whole bunch of other stuff. NASA, okay, the 3D movie, I mean 3D uh, technology, was developed by a black person. But these people are not aware of those things. So they think all they see is color, the MAGA crowd. So I feel women, whether you are black or a minority, don't sit on your hands, don't wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I, I, I said that wrong. <laughs> if you're a woman, whether you're white or you're a minority, you should vote, regardless of who you vote for. Hopefully you vote for democracy, for us to keep democracy, because that's what we're going to be voting for in November. And if you are a younger black minority, or I mean a younger black African, African American, a younger African American, you should definitely never not vote. That's your voice regardless of how you vote. But this time, I hope you go and you vote for democracy. And the only way you can vote for democracy this time around is by voting for Biden. Please, look at what's happening in Haiti. Do you know why the Haiti is in the situation that it is in? First of all, they never had a, a chance to, since that's what I know best, I'm giving you that example. Uh, ha Haitians never had a chance to take a breather to work through the uh, slavery, uh, the, 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 the uh, I'm gonna use this word because the word I wanna use, I, I, I remember it in French, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it in English this way. Uh, the vestiges, I believe that's the right word, of slavery, what, what we are left with, the traumas, all those things. Somebody posted something similar to that, and I agree with that person, but I don't remember in what reference that person posted that. Uh, we should make our voices heard. And young people, they have no idea how bad. If you look at on Twitter how these people are using DEI as a cover, okay, to put black people down, or any minority, really, okay, that you shouldn't even be in school. That's what they blame Dr. Gay. They said Dr. Gay, he wasn't qualified. And guess who was behind it? A multi-billionaire. And the only way, and you know something else, my friends, those young people, because me, uh, <laughs> I can drop dead tomorrow. I'm old. You know, once you pass 60, uh, the earth owes you nothing. The world, you know, God doesn't owe you anything. Every day is a gift. But if you're in your 20s, you, you got to make sure 30s, you got to make sure you go out and vote because you, you're about to have kids. What kind of world are you going to live for them? And trust me, if Trump takes over, I should, I, I'm hesitant to do a video about if Trump was to take over this country, what he has in mind for us. 
But the point I'm trying to make is my uh, women, black, white, Asian, or whatever, go vote. Do not sit on your hands. Uh, uh, African-American, young African-Americans, please forget the notion that what did they do for me? What did Biden do for me? Let me tell you, under the Trump uh, presidency, look at what's happening on Twitter now. If you think it's bad, what they are saying on Twitter, they are applying it already. There is a black woman who has a company that helps uh, minority women okay, get started in business. There's a group that's suing her to prevent her because she shouldn't focus only on minorities. Yes, I agree and I would like that, but the world is not that perfect. Uh, but the thing is, and I'm sure if there was a white woman who went with a fantastic idea, they would probably help her as well. The thing is, look at what they did with college admission, and now they're trying to do the same at uh, the Citadel and, and those military schools. Yes, we should remove, and it's a politician's fault, the notion that if I vote for somebody, they have to do something for me. No, we have to start looking at voting as our civic duty. I hope I am making myself clear. We should go out and vote because it's our civic duty. This is, that's our contribution. That's our way of saying this is what I want. Whether the right person wins or not, a lot of people say, oh, well, I vote for this person that didn't win. I'm not going to vote anymore. No, we should go out. And you know something else? I don't know how many of you, I'm talking about the younger generation now, uh, notice how seniors are respected. You know why? Because no matter what, they go out and vote. Ah, they're one of those politicians. You see the, those politicians that are saying they're going to play with uh, Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid? Oh, yeah, because they know if once seniors find out about those things, they are done. So minorities and mostly younger people who are saying they're not going to go out and vote, Yes, you should talk to your friends. You should all learn to go out and vote for the person that you want. Hopefully this time, like I said, democracy. We have to vote for democracy. Uh, but you got to make your voices heard. Don't sit. One cycle of Trump, look at what they are doing. Another cycle of Trump, uh, I can see already how bad African Americans, uh, the price is going to be steep for all of us. So I, I don't know how eloquently I put this, but please go vote. I know, according to the poll I was watching on uh, the show I was watching, I mentioned his name. I can't, I, I'm, I'm not going to try to picture it now. It takes me too long. Cap hard. Cap hard. Uh, I don't remember the percentage of the polls, but we should all go out and vote, my friends. I'm watching what people are saying on Twitter. I don't get scared because, believe me, I'm, I'm, you know, these people are looking for a civil war. When they talk civil war, I am more ready than they are. But it's not something that I like. I don't like violence. But I let them know I don't run either. And we don't want to go there. So we must all go and vote because that's a possibility if Trump were to become president again. What I used to watch happen in Haiti can happen here. And it will happen if Trump become president again. I'll stop there. Okay. And please let me know, guys, if you feel I didn't make this clear enough. I'll think about it and make it better. Having said that, Trump is going after Fannie Willis again for, uh, well, he thinks he can derail, the, the, you know, Fannie Willis. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I learned about it earlier today. I was a little busy, but I, I, at a glance, if that changes, I'll let you know. 
I don't think he's going to be able to unglue Fanny Willis. No. Nope. That's my prediction. And something I've been wanting all week to, to say, Israel, the, the, the war between Israel and, I mean, the Israelis and uh, the IDF and Gaza. Well, it's basically Netanyahu. It has nothing to do with, well, it has to do with the Israeli military. Netanyahu, I told you guys, Biden was going to have his way. Netanyahu thought he could outsmart Biden, thinking that he was going to use Xi and Putin to have his way. And Biden basically outsmarted him because the IDF is not going to attack us in Gaza. So Biden just gave him, <laughs> wave him goodbye. We are going to do our own thing. So they are building a port in order for, for us to transport food for the Palestinians. And they're not going to take a chance on firing on us. Okay. So that's Biden's way of te telling Netanyahu, you're going to have a problem. I, I spoke to you. You don't listen. Now I dare you. That's Biden's way of, uh, and Biden is going to win. Uh, by the way, the, uh, Netanyahu canceled that trip that his advisors and representatives were supposed to have with the White House or whomever. It's back on schedule. Intuitively, that's a big deal, okay? Okay. Uh, to have him reconsider and send his people, something is not right. So, and yes, there will be, uh, they will bring Hamas to yield. They can never kill. It's, it's, it's an idea, that, you know. And our government is correct. It's, it's difficult to destroy Hamas. They can kill as many people, but you're generating a whole bunch of a whole new generation. So, but there are ways of healing and uh, make things better for the Palestinian people. And like I said, from the beginning, it's going to be a two-state situation. That's what's coming, whether Netanyahu likes it or not. I know it doesn't work for him and the super conservatives over there, but that's what's coming. That's my prediction. Okay. Having said that, somebody asked me a question at the beginning. Who was that? M. Wright says, my son is 19 years old. Did you see him joining the military? There's a chance. I'm seeing him in a uniform. Okay. So... W Wright, I'm seeing your son. Is it okay? W W Wright, is your son thinking of joining? I believe it's the Marines, the blue uniform. I'm looking forward to see if W Wright posted the answer, but there's a very good chance your son will uh, will join. Okay. All right. Let me scroll up. Thank you, Deus Sabatazar, for reminding people to hit, get the thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Hi, Pastor Gula TK. How are you? Hi, Linda J. Electra Sam says, we black folks can't afford not to vote. Exactly. We are voting for our right to exist a lot. That's why I gave the example of how my guys and uh, the, 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 the brothers of Justice Thomas is how they are behaving on Twitter, you know, and they, they're using DEI as a, as a cover for uh, uh, convincing the, the rest of the MAGA crowd because those are the only people who will believe in the baloney that they're selling, that if you are a minority, you can't be good at anything. Yeah. So we, like, like uh, Electra Storm says, Yes, we are voting for our right to exist. That's exactly right. Because, oh boy, if Trump were to become president again, uh, yes, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video about it. I think that's the best way. I, I don't want, I, 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 the reason why I have not made a video, if Trump were to, be, to become president, 
what I see him do by focusing on him and the people around him, I don't want to frighten people because it is scary. I've lived through it. And, but Americans are not used to those things. Somebody arbitrarily, even me too, I would be, uh, because I've, I've cursed Trump out on, on social media. He's seen it. You know, I'm sure my name is one of, is one of his lists to, to show up here at 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, they put you somewhere and you don't know. That's what they did in Haiti. They can do the same thing here. Yeah, but I was, you know, I mean, did you guys hear what somebody in Texas was proposing? If a woman gets pregnant and you get, uh, you have the right to do anything you want with your body. They have the right to execute you. Why kind of people? Republicans. Yes. So you're right, Electoral Storm. If we vote, we vote for our existence. Okay. Right to exist. Nicholas Lewis says, I'm worried about my cousins. Three black men in their 40s voted Republican in Illinois. That worries me. My friend, the only thing you can do is talk to them. But some people, like I was saying, not until, you know, the reason why I brought Haiti up, when I was growing up, voting was a farce. You knew who, should, who you should, well, I was, I was not, a, well, I voted because it was a joke. I was about 14, okay? So, uh, well, I, I don't know if they counted me, I don't know, but they put the ink on my finger. But it was a joke, okay? Everyone knew who you were supposed to vote for, and he, there was no, I don't remember if somebody ran against Papa Dog, okay? So when I came here, I had the right to vote. Oh my God, it's a big deal. And look how quickly, because any Haitian government, they are not in the habit, in this country we are in the habit of, well, okay, somebody gets elected, we don't like the person, okay, we let them do their four years and then we vote someone else in. But in Haiti, we weren't used to these things. We vote for the person, okay, whatever, that was the deal we made. It was a contract. You wait for four years, and if the person does something wrong, we impeach him. You know, uh, our representative impeached the, 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 whatever the person, okay? They are mechanism if the person is doing something wrong. But in Haiti, there's no such thing. He was there. He, he got voted in. I don't know how he got voted in, but he did. He won. And then he named himself, himself president for life, and that's it. And that's what Trump will do. That's what he wanted to do. Only us can keep that from happening. And let me tell you, this, when, when uh, Liz Cheney tell us we're voting for democracy, she's right. If Liz Cheney, Cheney say, I'm sorry, Liz Cheney saying it, she's not kidding. She would, I mean, of course she would prefer have someone who, you know, with, you know whose policies she agrees with. But for someone like her, a super conservative like that, is talking that way. Oh, us black folks, no matter what, we got to go vote. So my young African American uh, friends, don't sit this out. You will be sorry. That's my prediction. I mean, you will be sorry if Trump were to become president again. Yeah, it may be a long time before you get another opportunity to vote. And by that time, you know, the, 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 uh, our norms, our structure of government, all the damages that can, if this guy was there for four years, he's, he caused a lot of damage. Never mind if, he's, if he comes in and he has three kids. And his goal is to have his kids follow in his footsteps. Remember that. So we can't let that happen. Uh, but Nicholas Lewis, the, the best thing you can do is talk to your cousins. I doubt they're going to change. But uh, 
they are in their forties. They are probably the mind is already set, my friend. It's very hard to change people. You know, I'm sure they have their reasons, but uh, I don't see. They've never lived or visited a dictatorship. Uh, well, they can visit Cuba and see how people live in Cuba. Maybe talk to some of the Cubans. I don't know if Americans are allowed to go to Cuba now. But yeah, and don't, I, I can't tell you to go to Haiti because people can't vote. That we couldn't vote before. That's, what, that's, that's what's causing all this craziness you see in Haiti. We never got used to voting somebody and allow the person to finish the term, the contract that you had, yeah? Irene Maria Mangoni says, blessing you, Luke. Thank you. Happy Easter to you, too. Love from Christian, Queensland, Australia. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, my God. Lecture Sam says she's watching the Ten Commandments on TV. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Thank you very much, Shaman to Lock for your generosity and the Super Chat. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Linda Lewis says, it is true. My younger brother is in his 30s and didn't vote in 2016 or 2020. And he's leaning towards Trump for 2024. Yes, Solomon the God. I, I, I had a, a talk about it. He's who has the young black audience here again. Thank you very much. Auntie Houses for our generosity and the super chat. Happy Easter to you too. Thank you. I appreciate the super chat. Yes. In fact, I, I and one of my uh, stream, I, I, I spoke about uh, Charlemagne the God. I don't understand why. Thank you, Susan Watera, for our generosity and the super chat. I appreciate it. It is so misguided. Why would they be following somebody? Okay, the guy doesn't even read, it feels like to me, because some of his ordering, they sound so ignorant. Yes, he has a show on TV. I'm going to give you guys an example. Uh, no, I better not. <laughs> okay, I, I was going to give something, no, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. Uh, having an audience on YouTube or an, on any other platform, or radio, because that's where I remember. I, I, he has a TV uh, thing there, too. He has on, I believe he's on YouTube as well. You have an obligation, even if you didn't go to college, to educate yourself. Why would, and you know something? I have questions about Charlemagne the God. Who's paying him? Because he lived through four years of Trump. He's not, he, he, yeah, he's not, well, he's not educated. But he can see what's going on on Twitter. He sees how minorities are being talked about and treated on Twitter. I fight back. I curse them out. You know, and I, you know, some people think if, I, if you curse them, it's because you're weak. No, it's because I have no respect for them. <laughs> they don't understand that. But somebody like Charlemagne the God, the God, we have to teach our young people. The guy doesn't know any better than you. Why follow him or her? That's one thing our, the younger generation has to learn, that you do not follow somebody who doesn't read more than you do or have, you know, for whatever reason, if they cannot reason, because the Kakabemi uh, 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 reason that I hear, Charlemagne the God, give his examples? No. His logic does not make sense. And there is another woman who does those same things too, but her, she, uh, her name is Nina something. She used to work for what's his name campaign was he was running for president, the libertarian. I mean, he's a, bad, he's, a, he's a nice guy. I like him, but I wouldn't vote for him. I forget his name. But Nina something, 
okay? I wouldn't listen to that woman for beans. But the Shalom and the God has a, a, a much larger, a much bigger platform than that Nina something, I forget her last name, okay? These people are not helping out. In fact, if anything, instead of using the platform to uh, encourage our young, young African Americans to find a way to go to school, educate themselves, I, I've never heard him say anything of that sort because they don't know better. So they have nothing to offer. So, you know, it's unfortunate. And they, they, they have that much influence on our young people. I don't like to say those things, but Linda Lewis, I know what you mean. But that's, you know, we have a lot of work to do on our young people. And believe me, uh, Putin is doing an amazing job with disinformation. And people like Shalom and the God, because they don't read. And I mean, he's the one who's more prominent, at least in my mind, because he ordered some garbage on Joy Reid's show. So I don't remember exactly what he said, but not that I ever thought he was anybody uh, serious or to listen to his reasoning, uh, but that my view of him dropped a lot lower after I saw him on Joy Reid, okay, uh, these people are not doing their work, as far as I'm concerned, to help young African Americans. I bet you he will not encourage somebody to go to school because he doesn't have enough confidence in himself. Yes, you may not be as rich as he is, but if you write a couple of books and they are, he's just like, he would be just like Trump if they... Uh, sell better than his, from what I understand, he's an author as well, would rub him a certain way or doesn't, you know, he wants to keep you coming and watch his show and him saying things that, and not leading you in the right way. But uh, the point I was trying to make is these people don't have much to offer because they don't read they don't understand world politics. They don't understand uh, even Jamaica. Jamaica is a little better. Why, why Haiti is in the situation it's in, Africa and all those countries, never mind, okay, beyond that. They don't have that understanding. That, those are the people that Putin call uh, I forget, something idiot, useful idiots. That's this guy. Yeah. Shot him in the guard. Because he's doing Putin's biddings for him. He, he doesn't even realize it. If he's not getting paid by somebody indirectly to continue promoting unknowingly Putin's uh, disinformation because if you are uh, motivating young people to vote against democracy in November, you are indirectly doing Putin's work bidding for him. And that's why I said a, a lot of uh, people who are saying for young Arabs not to vote for Biden are making a big mistake. Uh, you see, they, it, they can't imagine if Biden were to lose, how bad it would be for them. And a lot of them who don't have their uh, green cards and stuff, even those with their green cards, good luck. But they're not thinking that way. Things are going to be fine. They managed to the last time. They're going to be able to manage again. I have news for them. Trump will do what he said. You know why? Because he hates them. Yes, Trump dislikes them. Okay.
uh, Genomi64 says, I mean, what is going to happen to evil Stephen Smith? I don't know who Stephen Smith is. I know Stephen Miller. Stephen Miller is going to get himself into major trouble. Stephen Miller is part of the January 6th thing as well. So hang on there. Okay? That's coming. Okay. A lot of people, like I said, there is another iteration. Okay? There is another cycle of uh, investigation that's taking place already. We are not near the end of what happened wait after the election. Hi, uh, Bridget York. Ellen Snipes says, I want, to, I want to ask about my knee surgery anytime soon. I am going to vote and get as many other people to vote. Hi, Ellen Snipes. What about your knee surgery? I feel it's going to be okay. You'll get it done. Uh, because I'm seeing you, it seems like you're doing therapy for it. So if the question is, will you get it? Yes. Will it be okay? Yes. Okay. So I would be surprised if within, I'm, I'm getting six, six weeks to six months. I don't think it's six days. So within that time period, okay? All right. Let's see. <laughs> That's Barbara Hall says, please be Luke. Somebody asked me another question. Take time to show support and type on the like button. Thank you, Teresa Valtazar, for reminding everyone to do that. Yes, that would help me a lot. Barbara Hall says, please be Luke. Just please tell us Trump will, will, nowhere, will never be no, anywhere near the White House unless is in front of the White House in shackles and cuffs. I don't see Trump uh, being in there. The thing is, you know, the reason why I, 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 I was just shocked, because I remember a couple of black people who did not vote for Trump. I mean, who, who did not go out. They didn't vote for Trump. They did not go out to vote. I'm sorry, I misspoke. They didn't go out and vote at all. And they felt like fools because when Trump went out and said there were good people on both sides, when they, those KKK guys went and, uh, what's, when was that? Was it in Virginia? I don't remember exactly. What I, I think you guys know what, which one I'm talking about. When Trump went out and said there were nice people, the KKKs are nice people. Yeah, the, 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 the BLM uh, people, okay? Can young kids who went out of all colors went out uh, and protested. But if, if at one point, uh, the MAGA, they were blaming minorities and blacks, who are basically black people, uh, young black people were the bad ones. Everything, they're guilty. Marjorie Taylor Green, BLM was uh, inside of the violence in, in, in the Capitol. They were there. It wasn't uh, regular people, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Diana says, Neil, the bullying neighbors are still not moved. Do you see me moving first before they do? I doubt it. I don't remember what I said, but I don't think it's been that long since I told you they would be moving out. But they will. Okay. I mean, if you want to move out, I would move out. Why put up with that? You know what I mean? So if you want to move out and you find something better, reasonable price, because today it's crazy. But they'll be moving out. I don't think other people in the area like them, and they don't feel very welcome. So, yeah. Okay. I am looking for more questions. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't read for too many people this evening. Streaming hours, thank you, Sharon Saib, for reminding everyone. I appreciate your help. Let's see. Oops. What did I do? Nana Binana says, Sharon is a radio syndicate host with platform on YouTube. Yes, that's what I saw. Cyrus XM, that's true and syndicated radio shows across much of the urban, yes, radio station. This guy is not helping our urban, our community at all. They are not very bright. 
There is a guy who just died not too long ago. I forget his name. Uh, he was an activist, too. He used to go on hunger strikes. When Trump uh, became president, I mean, this guy really, I forget his name. People like him, they read, they, they are educated. But Charlie and the guy, they just people, they just talk a good game. They have no idea what they are talking about. They are not helping our communities. Young people should be, people should go on the, uh, when, the when you have a platform like that, you know, I was talking to a very young, you know, this past week, I've had two young people, no, that was a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, on my order line, two young people called me. You know, uh, I mean, I told them what I saw, but what they can achieve if they were to go to school. It's my job as a psychic, if a young person, even in person when I was in New York as well, uh, if I did, did a reading for a young person, I would tell them about their potentials because a lot of time, uh, I mean, it's so tough sometimes we are afraid to jump in. Thank you, Auntie House, Nina Turner. Yes, attorney, I'm sorry, Nina Turner. That's the woman, Nina, I was trying to remember her name. Oh my God, she, supposedly she's a teacher somewhere or something. That woman is all messed up upstairs. She has the same mentality. If you don't do anything for me, I'm not going to vote for you. That, it doesn't work that way. But anyway, uh, these people are not helping us at all. Not good. So, but our young people don't know better. Well, some of them do, not all of them. But too many of them listen to people like Charlemagne the God, uh, yeah, they're not heading in the right direction. Mary Johnson is asking, will Fannie Willis get voted back into office? Absolutely, yes. Also, will Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott no longer hold political office? No, I don't believe Ron DeSantis can run anymore. I feel this, from what I understand, this is his last, uh, that's it, this is it. And uh, yes, can, can be beat. Absolutely. If they have the right Democrat, absolutely, he can be beat. But since I don't know if there is a Democrat running for him, yeah. I mean, that's preparing to run. Okay. Uh, Todd says, Milo, will the doctor be able to take out the catheter I am wearing and I will be able to urinate? Yeah, like normal person without having surgery. I don't know about without having surgery, but I feel like saying you're going to be okay. Yeah. So work with them, all right? You'll be able to do it. So hang in there. Okay. Exactly, Electra Storm. Electra Storm, child mighty God knows ex what he's doing. He's being paid to make chaos. That's, that's what I was implying before when I said, uh, thank you for posting that. Uh, we don't know who's paying him, okay? He's the uh, uh, something idiot. I don't remember how the, the, the Putin word for it. Yeah. They're making him, you know, do things that's, that's against his own best interest. Yeah. Oh, that's Stephen Smith. You know, I don't watch. Yes, I know who you're talking about now. I don't remember what the question was, though. But I, this guy is doing well. If you ask me, I don't see any, anything bad happening to him. No. What happened to him? Oh, Gina, Gimoni64 says he met Stephen Miller. Oh, they, oh, okay, yeah, because I don't see Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith is a pretty smart guy. 
Uh, I don't see him getting into any trouble. If anything, he's going to continue to do well. But Stephen Miller, psh, it's a matter of time. Nana Binana says, we have too many out there, yes, using the platform for misinformation and paid to stir up chaos, exactly. Useful idiots. Thank you very much, Ellen Stipes. <laughs> Useful idiots, yep. Ellen says, what about my knee surgery? Did you have knee surgery? I think it's going to be okay. The real me says, do you think the internet is talking so much about DD to keep us distracted from Trump and his criminal behavior? No. I don't see the connection between the two. Uh, no. Well, I mean, you know, we, we know how, how things are. How do you call it again? Money, power, sex and something else, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, that's what's going on. And you, you know, the other thing with DD, PDD, or Sean Puffycom, uh, he's been in the public eye for a very long time. And the death of his, of his uh, wife, I forgot her name right now, I don't remember her name. She was good friends with Kimora uh, Simmons, I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. I, I just can't remember her name. But, you know, and what they were saying he did to her, you know. It's just like R. Kelly. A lot of bunch of rumors until they nabbed him. And look at that. The, uh, it's, we're going through the similar cycle as the R. Kelly situation. That's what's happening to uh, Didi right now, unfortunately for him. But they will learn. Celtics here says, will my left knee recover fully from the fall I had last year? You have to continue doing the, uh, the therapy for the exercises that you have to do to strengthen the, the muscles around the knee, depending if it's your patella or in between. But I know it's, it, it, it's a pain in the neck. Uh, but yeah, you got to keep strengthening that muscle. And if it can't, I feel you can get there, at least get some good break, okay? But it's, it's going to take some work. Continue doing it. You'll be all right. Oh, my God. Deborah Radlewski says, will my husband back surgery be successful? I don't know what you mean by successful. I feel... Uh, he will still have some discomfort if that's, you know. Okay, depending on how bad it is and how old, that, that's going to have an effect, my friend. Yes, our back is a problem. Okay? So uh, that's the way I feel like it. He it, it will still have some discomfort. But as far as the surgery, it will be fine. The surgery will go fine. Okay, two two things here. Will it get better? And uh, I see, I feel he'll still have some discomfort. Okay. And uh, would it be okay? Yeah, it would be all right. Okay. Please let me know. Uh, who asked the question? Deborah Kudluski. Please let me know how that goes. Okay. You're very welcome, subjects here. Okay. I feel Bob Casey would be reelected. I don't know who Matt Cartwright is from PA, but I feel like saying Democrats, if, if they run their campaign, oh yeah. I guess he's smart enough, and he knows how to, you know, yeah. Okay, but I don't know who Cartwright is. I will look, and I'll let you know. Let me copy this for a second. Okay. 
I'm copying this so I can put it on my journal. So I'll look into, I'll, look, I'll find out who that is. I'll answer that on Monday. Jen uh, Rogers says, Milu, YouTube is playing game with you today. Oh, they play games with my channel all the time. Keep going in and out, iPad. My phone is good. It may not be my channel. It may be your connection as well. But, you know, yeah, YouTube plays around with my channel. Daniel Patrick. Thank you, Daniel Patrick, for generosity and the super chat. I appreciate it. Any response to Mike Redbar's allegation against you on Redbar last night? I don't know who that, against me? I don't even know who Mike Redbar is. I have to look into this. One second. I don't even know who that is. I never heard of the name. Okay. Read it. Mike Red Bar allegation against me, Red Bar last night. I don't even know what. Uh, Daniel Patrick, can you please tell me where that was? I don't even know who that is. The only place I post anything is on Twitter. Okay. Uh, Patrick, what, uh, I'm not, I don't go to website, controversial website, the only website, I, I'm so busy with YouTube. <laughs> I have no time for anything else. Uh, I mean, please let me know. I'll get to the bottom of it. I don't, I don't know who Mike Redbar is. Allegation, allegation against me, I'll sue him. He showed text. I don't text with anybody. Daniel Patrick, can you please tell me? Oh, oh he said, you said text. I don't know anything. Where did he post the... Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't even know what Red Bar Scars Club is. I don't even know who that is. I've never heard of Red Bar Scars Club. So I don't think it's me, to be honest with you. I don't even know. I don't text anybody. I mean, I have clients. They, they ask me for... Uh, they, you know, they text me about appointments and stuff like that, but I don't. You don't have to donate every time you post something, Daniel. I'll, I'm, I'm looking at the screen. Uh, I, uh, the person may be using a similar name, but, it, it, you know, I'll go after him. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? No, but I don't know who that is. I've, I don't even, I've never even heard of Red Bar. I don't know. Thank you for posting that, though. I will, uh, I will look into it. Fool's notice. Well, I'm not going to go on Red Bar. Uh, yes, they, they probably have, well, I'm not scared. You don't have to, you know, uh, donate every time you, you post something. You can just, uh, I have not, I've, at my age, I, I, I don't do dumb things. I've never done dumb things before, so I don't know. I'm not afraid. Let them come at me. <laughs> you kidding? He's watching you stream, your live stream now. He's, he says you're on fool's notice. Well, let's see what he's got. Thank you for letting me know. I'll do what I have to do. I'm going to, I'll get, 
I'll talk to the police and I'll do what I have to do, okay? But uh, I don't get scared and I've, I've survived wars, so I don't know about him. I don't run. If so, you know, a lot of people are going on Twitter, Linda just says, who is Pat Daniel Patrick? I have no idea who he is, but uh, a, a lot of people are going on Twitter spreading news about civil war and stuff like that. Uh, they have no idea what war is like. Uh, and they, they, they want a war in this country. They should look at what's going on and uh, across the world and all, all those places where they have war all over the place. Oh my God. Okay, friends, thank you very much for spending time with me. Thank you, Chat Monitors, for your help. I appreciate it. If anyone would like a reading from me, the link to my website is below the video, sakiknilu.com. Uh, uh, or call me or text me on my YouTube number. We can negotiate a time that's good for both of us to talk. If you like the channel, please subscribe and also don't forget to tap on the notification bell. Uh, one second. If you like the channel, please subscribe and also don't forget to tap on the notification bell. Please give me a, a thumbs up, that would help me a lot. Again, everyone, thank you. I will see you uh, Monday. Tomorrow is, oops, Easter. Sunday, I'm trying to go somewhere and I couldn't do it. I don't think I can do it. Uh, so I will see you on Monday, same time. Till then, bye.